So, I've had a few times in my life where I beef with an individual as they were dying. I didn't know they were going to die, right? It's not like, like, yo, if you knew, like, a motherfucker was going to die and you beef with him, you probably a piece of shit, right? But, like, you kind of stand here and... You assume that the world's going to be what it is today when you wake up tomorrow. Because that's just how the world usually works, right? And in knowing that, I've had a few times where I beef with motherfuckers. Right? I was in high school and uh, I beat this dude up because he owed me money. And then he died that night. And then... Not because I beat him up, but because, like, you know, he was driving backwards down a mountain, right? Like, drunk. <laughs> and the next day, like, like, when somebody said he died, I was like, shit, I'm never going to get my money now. And people liked him, and they tried to lynch me. And here recently, there was a guy named Irate Prostate who died, right? And at one point, we were real close. I love the dude. But here recently, he did some shit that upset me, right? And I wasn't ready to get over it yet. There was another guy who died. Who we was real tight and nobody knew it because like everybody around him hated me. Just kind of like par for the course. Because I'm not super likable by everybody. And me and this dude, we were like two people who were real similar in a place where there wasn't many of us. We weren't really internet guys, we were, we were street guys. We sold drugs and we had kids and families and we we lived a life outside all of this. We liked music, sports. And we could talk about these things, particular music. But our views on politics were pretty similar. We were around the same age. We were real close. Spend nights talking to him. Even now, like he's dead now. Send them messages because, like, yo, just not many motherfuckers, you know. And this dude who died, I already said that we weren't friends, that he hated me. And that hurt a lot. And then he died. no square in that. It is what it is. But like, so, at the moment, you know what I mean? It made me uh, think of this song and shit. And so, you know what I mean? I'm going to react to this song with that mentality and whatnot. You know what I mean? So let's, uh, let's get into that. You know what I mean? Let's, let's rock. Better believe that. Dear God, times are changing and the weather got hot. Over the past year, a lot of niggas with props drop. So I thank you for my life and all that I got. I want to praise you and drop off a message of pop. When I was younger, <coughs> I think it came out in like 97. Like, or... Er, Late 96, early 97, when uh, motherfucking Tupac died. Right. And this track was kind of like the hammer for 97 and whatnot. You know, because like Naughty by Nature, like I'll be real, Naughty by Nature, they, they really didn't have a whole lot going on at this time period. Like 
OPP, I think, dropped like 93, 94. Mm. We don't know that. It's like, you down with OPP. Yeah, you know me. You down with OPP, right? You know, most definitely some West Coast type of shit. But anyway, all right, man, let's, yo, let's keep rocking and whatnot. I was sitting here looking at your picture, my nigga. Putting hash with the weed with a mixture of liquor. We can't kick it, you ain't with us. Is the shit I can't figure, nigga. I miss you. There's no one going more, you tell I'm with you. It was 90 on the PE tour when we met. Damn, don't even seem like seven years past. Both roadies now, homies out the hood on the scene. You did the Humpty with the U, I did the Watt with the Queen. Was a dream. Smoking and drinking through Alpha Still in backstage passes to hit hoes and Coliseum. The old days. I miss the old days. <laughs> like, yo, I do. I miss them, man. Listen. Just pussy was everywhere. You fucking bat that shit down with a motherfucking tennis racket. Old age sucks. Motherfuckers, enjoy your youth. You know what I mean? You only get it once, baby. You know what I mean? Found those that flip up, make them lift their shit up. Get it, then get up. Look the chicks up, then flip up. Pick up all the dimes, tell our room was mine. Mel groupies got this and got the hell out of dime. They was blinded when the good shine through. They were on you. Just know, I'm going more, you till I join you. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. I hope you hear me now, we ain't got me trust. Even all the bitches can bring it back to us. I'm going you till I do you, cause I'm keeping touch. We were two little niggas, both skinny and broke. Happy if we scrap pennies for smoke. <sighs> Yo. Happy up, we scrap pennies for smokes. Mmm. Nothing like poverty to bring your ass together. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, yo, just real shit. Tours over, we were out. Yeah, then you called with the news. You was over in New York to film this movie called Juice. Bitch. Called you back up, you told me back up. Back me up. and you and Stretch could shack up. The thug love back up the act up. Shot him and Atrium were calling oh, for us. Cause they knew we all kicked up dust. You remember when that cabbie said that he wouldn't pick up our race? We beat his ass and then you spit in his face. I remember all... Beat his ass and then you spit in his face. It's like, yo. Cabby said, Daddy won't pick up a rent. He said, yo. You beat his ass and then you spit in his face. Some savage. I'm like, yo, so savage. <sighs> On the set from the trail of feast, throw your juice and big stretch, put some out of shoes. Back then, I was taking stashes quick. Who hold it? That's why every piece of blood I was rolling was stolen. He said, when every piece of bud I was rolling was stolen. <laughs> Yo, just, just track such a hammer. I miss these. I miss these days and shit. I do. We would laugh at the jacks over six packs and yaks. Spit the emos over demos, thinking ladies and limos. Use a wild motherfucker who can never sit still. Said you couldn't rest till you seen a mill. Nigga, I felt you. We was back and forth from Bro Road, a project with force. Damn, I wish they knew how much you love New York. Shit. And can't nobody diss my. He said, Damn, I wish they knew how much you love New York. I mean, because, like, yo, you got, you do got to step back and, like, the ideology, like, yo, this is dedicated to Pac and shit. You know what I mean? Like, yo, Pac, like, dude, like, man, Pac was from New York. <laughs> right? Legit. Like, he was born in fucking New York and whatnot. You know, so, like, when it comes down to it, like, he was a New York dude. And, like, he moved out to the West Coast because, like, Suge Knight bailed him out of jail. Right? You know, so, like, he ended up being a West Coast dude. Like, I mean, he was out there with, like, you know, Humpty Dump and all them motherfuckers and whatnot. And, um. Uh, trying to think of the name of the fucking band or the group he was in I um, don't really remember it's been so goddamn long it was back in like 90 91 right and I was eight nine years old some shit like that but like yeah you know <laughs> like but I think like his first like his first like two albums or so like you know first three albums strictly for my niggas uh motherfucking me against the world like, they were, you know what I mean, like, East Coast albums and shit when it came down to it. They weren't really West Coast. West Coast didn't come into All Eyes on Me and then uh, Machiavelli, really. You know what I mean? But let's keep rocking. And Thug Life, too, was also a West Coast album. My nigga, motherfuck that. I miss my nigga. I'm going to mourn you till I join you. You got to worry about how long I'm going to mourn you. I'm going to keep your name on the street. 
that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I miss my niggas, you know. I do. They're just not around no more. Just the reality of it. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. I hope you hear me now in God we trust. Even all of us can bring you back to us. I want you till I do you cause I'll keep in touch. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. I hope you hear me now in God we trust. Even all of us can bring you back to us. I want you till I do you cause I'll keep in touch. I'm the true motherfucker thug nation alert. Keep his name on the street, say you lay in the that dirt, dirt. This shit hurt. Cause we went from poor to rich. It's supposed to seen a lot more than this. They propped you up, locked you up. When you did above the rent, they let you out, you called us up. We came and thugged again. We were here, ah, rapists, they shout. Y'all was talking shit that y'all ain't know a damn thing about. You was going through your stress while your enemies laugh. They never take no shit and Tupac never took no ass. Fuck the press, fuck the world, life goes on. Fuck the press, fuck the world, life goes home and you die. <laughs> fuck the courts, fuck the judge, and every trick that lie home. Mm. You know, bring it back to tonight for the moment. <clears throat> Let's keep it a buck. All right, keep it honest. I went to war for motherfuckers and shit, right? Like, I took time out of my day to go and handle business for people. Because <sighs> I care. And I gave a fuck. And if we're perfectly real about things, I know nobody really, like, <sighs> I know everybody understands that I don't need it. Never needed that help. But the love would have been nice. It's kind of where I get down to. Like, in general, like, the love would have been more fucking nice. You know, it's not so much about, like, whether or not, you know, somebody does for you. Like, because I'll never expect nobody to do it for me. But the love would be nice. It's kind of where the mental's at. I better believe that. <laughs> when you die, fuck the courts, fuck the judge, and every bitch that lie. A little time pig by my whole not got rocked. My lady waking me up yelling, Tretch Pac got shot. Soon as I get there, I find a feeny urging me. Can't convince my baby, don't leave after surgery. So I'm looking in her eyes while he walking me through. Thinking Pac hard head, what the hell I'ma do? So we kick it, I say stay, then I ask what you need. You say a pound for coming, nigga, and a hit of some weed. So I you not to go over and over, God knows You just smile and said, nigga, help me get on my clothes So we got over that, you healed up, got locked I dropped kites about life, they had you cage when I stopped Yeah, the chain remained, plus you was a part of my link They fucked up by giving you too much time to think I remember your release and we met up in L.A. Just the reality of things You know what I'm saying? Like, 100%, just the reality of things. And... It's really where it's at, you know? Like, 100%, it's really where the fuck it's at. You know? <laughs> like, niggas who was part of your link, right? <laughs> like, you're legit. And you'll never speak to him again. God blesses me, but like, you know, soon getting to that point in my life where God starts taking away more things than he gives me. You know what I mean? It is what it is. At the bill, you're getting blazed, handing out with the hate. After that, you blew up. A main nigga, platinum plus, addicted to drama, a soldier with a nation of thugs. Now we in these savage ages. Even you yourself predicted that last night in Vegas. I heard gaps were brainless. My nigga once again damaged. And a part of this heart right here vanished. At the same time, you was both loved and feared. It will be the fucking thug of the year. I'm a more you tell I joined. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. I hope you hear me now. In God we trust. Even on a I'll mourn you till I join you because I keep in touch. 
that's a hundred percent. You know, really, that's a hundred percent about things. I ain't expecting to go out no time soon, but like, yo, you carry these motherfuckers with you the rest of your life. That's how that operates. You know, just keeping it a hundred with you. Let's keep rocking. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I just need to get that shit off my chest real quick. Thank y'all for motherfucking listening. It's appreciated. You know what I mean? Because, like, like, yo, you don't want to burden your real life friends with shit that happens online. And, like, you don't want to stand here and, like, I try to talk to some motherfuckers online and, like, I'll be real. Like, a motherfucker's got real problems. It is what it is. It's Tom Peace. Y'all know what it's hitting for. Peace.